Greetings, everybody. Admiral Neelix here. Um, this episode is called The Crew You Choose. As you'll notice at the very bottom, you'll see all my ships have no captain and also no crew, actually. This is going to help you decide uh, what kind of crews on what type of ships. Um, it will be a little more helpful if uh, the powers that be would go ahead and make those re uh, presets uh, that we've been told about. That would make this so much easier, but you know, let's go ahead and see if we can get some double duty out of some of our crew on certain ships. That way you don't have to slide your um, crew bar all the way, all the, all the way to find the person that you want. Uh, so let's keep it simple for now. We're going to go on to the first ship, Antares. Um, I always keep Antares in this particular spot. We're going to go ahead and assign officers. Right now I am looking for Tapring, and there she is. Tapring. Okay, before I actually put her on, let's go ahead and go back over here real quick to the details of the ship. I want you to notice here on protected cargo, it's at 38,000, uh, okay? Um, I really don't deal with the battle stats or anything on cargo ships, um, you know, because they are what they are. Uh, they're not going to win many fights uh, against bigger and badder warships and even bigger and better um, cargo ships if somebody has a decent crew on them or they're maxed out or something like that you know like my horizon can deal some damage the meridian can do a lot of damage as well however i don't worry about that when it comes to cargo ships it is what it is so let's add a little protected cargo to that we're going to assign that officer we found to pring we're going to put her there i'm going to confirm that and then i'm going to go to details again up to sixty-three thousand. okay now, this is important. You want to be able to take home, if attacked, you want to be able to take home as much of your cargo that you spent hours or minutes or whatever time it took to get that mined. Okay? So, 63,000. There are some nodes that are up to 60,000. There are some that are 40,000 and so on below. But then there are, are the rare ones that you find. Uh, you might need a warp token to get there that are going to be up in a million. And so you, it depends, you know, on how many of those tokens you have. But for normal use, this cargo rate right here will hold an entire node very easy. It might even hold two cycles worth of nodes. Depending on where you're mining, it might even hold three. But you're at least going to take home that number right there, 63,000. Let's go ahead and uh, make this ship a little faster as we see that it's warp 8.8. .8. Let's go ahead and go here and let's find a group. So we're going to get her sisters. I call her her sisters. They're not really her sisters, but we're going to get Helvia and Domitia here. Helvia, okay, as we all know, she's a parcel miner. She's, uh, she works really well in the Fortunate and um, in, in any ship she's going to add um, speed basically to her um, mining ability for par steel. <clears throat> you ought to see her on the North Star. It's pretty quick, uh, pretty quick. But here's what I'm looking at: Gold Rush. As long as the cargo, um, as long as the cargo of the ship is empty, Helvia increases its warp speed by 125. This means you're going to get to a node fairly quick if it's you know several systems away. You're going to get there fairly quick, depending on, on how much you've already built up your warp uh, engine on your ship. So that's important. It's empty when you're leaving base. You're heading towards a node. You're going to get there in a de in decent time. Domitia, on the other hand, being a dilithium miner, she can hurry home. Now, it says here, as long as the cargo of the ship is full, okay, they don't mean, you know all the way past OPL, overprotected limit, or all the way to full capacity. That just means if she has any in there, of course, that's going to, you know, in the science of the game, it, it adds weight to the ship and, and, and all that stuff. So she helps get the ship home quicker. And therefore, when you do a switch out, you can, you can get home a little quick, and then you can get back even quicker with um, Helvia uh, on her side. Okay, so let's get out of this. Now, on cargo ships, I normally do not deal with the bottom rows. Okay, lower decks. I usually don't. However, if I start getting in a war situation, and of course if I start uh, getting some more empty seats there on the lower deck, 
then you're going to probably want somebody already on the ship that you can just do a quick change. So just picking randomly, I'm going to come over here and pick Beverly Crusher. Um, and I'm going to group her. Let's see with... Uh, well, I was going to group her with Wesley, you know, just to just to make it a family thing. So let's go ahead and put her there, and let's give her Wharf as well. So let's go ahead and say that, okay, I'm getting attacked. Now, keep in mind, I know in comments I'm going to get yelled at for this. I am not, I'm just picking these guys random just for the benefit of this demonstration. I know not to use these people on, on some cir circumstances. So let's say I'm going into battle. And I'm coming here, and I already have three people there. All I have to do is just do a quick change right there. And now, you know, I have a battle crew ready. Okay. So keep that in mind when loading up some of these guys. Of course, these the stats over here, the attack, defense, and health. If you'll remember the video that I made about um, balancing out this um, uh, attack uh, ADH here. Um you know, this particular setup isn't, but it gives you a, a quick chance to at least defend somebody or, or ward somebody off or, or something like that. You know, so let, let's go ahead and keep that in mind. But for my personal needs, I usually leave these empty um, because I only use a couple of ships, actually, uh, in wartime. So let's confirm this. We're locking in. Now let's go ahead and go on to, oh, uh, details real quick. Look at that warp speed. Remember, it was 8.8, .8, now it's 17. So, boom, I made this a very fast ship. Okay, now, we're going to come over here, and we're going to load up Estella. Now, the basic setup for Estella is going to be your Kirk, your Spock, and your Khan, usually as your top officers to break um, uh, the... Uh, armadas that are in the exchange space area the big purple area and a little bit beyond if you follow the 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 path to the other systems now here's where we start going with our um basic setup for your adh your attack defense and health to balance that out as you see i set it to attack i'm going to give her ahura gorkon and let's go ahead and go to defense bones uh, Marcus, since the Pring is taken, these people are already set up with away missions right now, so I'm going to leave them alone. And let's go on to health, of course. We have the lovely little Tribble. And, um, okay, so let's take a look here. We have 11, 15, and 11. So, you know what? I think 6 of 10 would probably do really good there. All right, that's pretty good numbers right there. 12, 16, 13, that's pretty, that, that's all right. Um, if I wanted to go a little heavier, um, I would probably put Barut there. And there we go. Okay, you know, you got a really good attack, uh, great defense, and, and a decent health right there. That's going to attack some pretty good um, Stella Armadas, as we call them, Stella Armadas, in, in our group over here. Um, so, you know, you're, you're, you got a decent balance, you got a good crew on top, and if you have these people... If you don't have Khan, um, I don't know what it is with uh, Scopely lately. I'm here. A lot of these newer people that are playing that are in my team um, are saying that they do not have Gala yet. Gala is a great substitute for Khan. Um, she can go toe to toe um, in stats along with uh, uh, the Kirk and Spock combination. Um, that. Th I don't know. It, it's hard to tell which one of these two are actually better, Gala or Khan. And this is for your Stellar Armadas. And if you don't have them, then this guy, Leslie, that you can get in the pack, um, Pike's Shakedown Crew pack. Uh, Leslie is also pretty damn good at, um, at, at his uh, part also in the in Stellar Armadas. But lately, I've been testing out, and I'm going to have to put this here for crew group. Never mind the bottom row. I just want to show you these three people real quick. Um, these people have been doing amazing. Up to at least a 33 uncommon um, armada and a 31 rare. Uh, they're only level one right now. We got, um, uh, uh, how do you pronounce your name? Havix or Avex. Uh, you have uh, Mo, uh, Ro Mud and you have Sisha. And you can recruit them from the rogue store or 
regular recruit center on the page but these three right here leveling them up should be a priority because they seem to be made for those Stella Armadas um, they do great okay so that's a that's a Stella setup a basic setup so I'm going to confirm that for now and uh, let's go ahead and come over here I have Botany Bay all right so Botany Bay um, I'm going to show you a double duty on this particular ship here. Let's go ahead and find the man uh, for the Botany Bay. And, of course, you're going to have to slide him all the way. So I'm going to pick this guy just for the grouping to get him there a little faster. And, of course, I am talking about uh, Joaquin. All right. And set him there. Take Pan out. By the way, Pan, he can add impulse speed to your ship. Um, as well, but he's got that stupid little side perk. Let me let me go ahead and tell you about it. Mistakes were made at the start of each round. Pan has a 45% chance of applying a hole breach to his own ship for three rounds. That means he's basically an accidental saboteur, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. Okay, so why um uh why are we putting this guy up here? And I just took him out is because his stats will tell you that he's got firewall protection all right they're calling it that Joaquin or um Joaquin increases the protected cargo of, of the ship by 50 percent now I'm getting ready to to level him up so I'm wondering if that if that 50 percent is going to grow when I level him up I just need um, a few more um, credits to do so so I'll let y'all know when that happens and that's as captain so he increases protected cargo. I am more interested in the protected cargo because when you do research, Botany Bay already alone, out of the box, can mine pretty quick. You add that research done to it, it's going to mine faster. You add this guy here, it's going to mine pretty quick, right? Data miner. That's his speed one as a side seat. Okay, uh, Joaquin... Uh, increases the mining rate of the ship by 100% when mining corrupted uh, data and decoded data. Yes, he can add a lot of speed, but I want that protection because... Let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to confirm this, and let's take a look here at the Botany Bay's uh, protected cargo. That's 99k. All right. Now, how am I going to make that bigger? Those nodes hold 60,000, uh, right? So let's come over here... And let's see if I can add this guy. And I want to add the other fella. Let's see if I can find him through group. Um, I have to set him there. Was it 2 of 10? No, it wasn't him. It was this other guy. Because 2 of 10, he stores optimization. So he increases the cargo size of the ship. Which on Botany Bay and the other ship that I use this particular crew on, I really don't need that i want to protect the cargo so i'm looking for dupont and so let's go to name that way in the d's he should be pretty easy to find there he goes right there so we got dupont this guy here i'm going to confirm that let's take a look at that detail 137k that's two cycles worth of that um system in the uh augment space where they are 60,000 nodes some people are like, well, you can mine faster if you go to this other system. It only takes nine seconds per cycle and all this stuff. Yeah, I can do that uh, if I want to sit there and watch over my ship all day and not get other stuff done. I want all of I want to get this guy over there, set it and forget it um, and and let it do its thing while I'm battling reds or joining a fight or defending or whatever. I don't want to have to sit there and every nine seconds uh, switch out the ship. You know what I mean? So that's why I, I go for more protected cargo and I keep um, this guy in the center here. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in so that I can show you that along with that, when I'm not using him for Botany Bay, I'll put him on my Kavort and I'll go get some crystal. Let's take a look at some details. Protected cargo, 63K right there. Yeah, it's less than what the Botany Bay had. That's what they're comp uh, comparing that to right now. Let's go ahead and just assign that ship and make those reds go away. All right.
warp range 40 warp speed 8.8 .8, kind of slow but i mean it's 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 not too bad you know protected cargo 63k boom i can take home a whole node and still have some room left over to keep that ship there while i have one coming to change out with it to you know so i can empty the ship and bring it back right so that's that's what i'm looking at there's a double duty for sure right there for that crew okay so let's go ahead and go on to the next ship um here we are with the disco okay the discovery crew okay um is a is a little fun here because now that you have summons available you want to make that summons as cheap as possible because i got to tell you summons is very expensive i'm going to put cobra here let's go ahead and bring it on the group i'm going to put paul stamets with the white eyes um i i can't remember which one of these if they have to be captain or not uh, network navigator increases the cost efficiency of jumping with summoning with the discovery by 20 percent. so that's making it a little lower there and then of course the doctor here uh protective when defending a capture node okay so he helps with uh territories and then here we go increases the cost efficiency of jumping with summoning by another 20 percent. so when you have these two guys on the bridge for the discovery and you go do a summons or even jumping from space to pace it's going to make that cost a little uh cheaper and then at this point you know if you're only using it to summons and all that stuff just go ahead and put you know somebody on the bridge with them if you like you can just keep it at those two if, if, if you don't need anybody but we are coming to the end of my chain here so on ship d i normally use this ship as a battleship um be it pve or pvp so i would normally have a pretty decent crew on there so here's what i'm going to do here i am going to go ahead and place on the lower decks somebody that i would normally use on that particular ship and i cannot find him of course and the video is already running long as it is there we go i put kang and um you know what i'm gonna make it a group thing because i use these guys too I'm going to go ahead and set those there and just kind of eh, just randomly pick that. So now at least I have somewhat of a battle crew ready should I need to jump into some kind of battle by switching the ship over to, let's say, oh, the Brel, you know, or some, just something like that. I can come over here, move these guys up, switch them in and find the right combination that's going to give me the most. And it looks like this is it with 20% synergy on, on all sides. And of course, I can use an upgrade on uh the girl there okay so there i got a double duty now this ship here um okay is the saladin the beloved saladin this is where i really get my monster kick on it you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and uh put them up pretty good i'm gonna put chen get her ready um and of course i'm gonna come over i'm gonna get pike in the middle i'm gonna hit group so i can get moreau and then this is normally where I'll start hitting in with my attacks. Um, she's assigned already, but I'm not going to keep her on the ship that she's on. So I'm going to go ahead and take her. And let's go ahead and get Gorky over here. Let's go ahead go to defense. Got my Kirk. And this is going to be a double duty ship as well. Uh, Spock. Bones. Yes, I'm going to take him from the other ship and let's see let's hit some health here with a good old furry fuzzy right there for my numbers right there the switch out will be is i put this guy over here on the third and then i'll put keep con there and i'll put kirk here and i'll go ahead and switch these two over here just for laughs um put those on the end now the reason why i do this is because all right check this out when I need to go into PvP battle, I can go ahead and just do a quick change out and do either Bones here or Khan here, depending on the ship I'm going to use. So I'm going to leave that there. And then, if I have a second, I'll go ahead and take out the Pike, the Moreau, and the Chin, and come over here and add something like an attack guy, you know, just to kind of um, uh, fill it up a little bit and, um, and go from there. So now this ship is battle ready, and that didn't take too long. But, all right, sometimes I, I'm not really using that Saladin so much um, as much anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these guys back here. Um, ba -da -bum. Let's go here. 
and there my guys oh I keep bumping these buttons the way I don't want to and so it it throws me off a little bit all right and who the hell I gotta get rid of him get rid of him get rid of him and um, let's go ahead and put Chen back find Pike throw him on go with group there that wasn't so bad was it now back to the first three here on the lower deck con kirk and tribble right the reason why you want to rearrange those to kind of have them set up to where you have an attack a health and a defense on there is so if you uh tap the wrong button and then go to swap let's go to this assigned uh the to my uh auger here on the lower deck i have those three open right there my, now these numbers here on the side 88s are going to be lower because I don't have a full lower deck yet but once I get those open those numbers are going to be great okay well that's pretty much it for as far as the crew you choose um, I want to thank everybody who started um, subscribing to the channel I appreciate it I'm uh, almost at 400 I'm very proud of that um, again, these videos are mostly made for my crew. I know a lot of you old-time veterans that have been playing this game are probably watching this and saying, Hey, I already know this. So you're not showing nothing new. But you may not want to have to text all that stuff to somebody in a chat room. Share this video and let them watch the video if they're having trouble kind of figuring out stuff. Um, go down my playlist and, uh, and see if I've already answered something that you might need help with. Um, other than that guys hey you you have a good day have fun take care and uh like subscribe all that stuff take care